Good morning, my name is Shannon and I am homeschooling my three kids. So I have a five-year-old girl, a three-year-old girl, and a little one-year-old boy. And I wanted to share with you five things I try to do each day to just make our morning time go as smooth as possible. It's always a little crazy, which is to be expected and good and how it should be. But there are some things that I figured out that if I do the night before and the morning of, just make our day get off to a much better start than if I didn't do them. So I hope this is helpful. So first thing, I know some people um, are morning people, some people aren't. I definitely am a morning person, So, but I wake up before my kids. I just have figured out I do not do well if I wake up to them. So I wake up pretty early, sometimes 4.30, sometimes 5.00. Um, I love being able to just have quiet time in the morning. I love at least being able to go run around the block. Um, sometimes I'm able to work out more than that, but at least getting outside. It's summertime right now, so it just brings me a lot of joy to get outside in the morning and just have some time by myself um, before my kids wake up. So that is huge for me and just is a big game changer just in my attitude. So. I have to have that time and especially just time with Jesus before my kids are having lots of needs that I need to fill. So I wake up and before for my kids. I set my alarm. I try to go to bed decently early so I'm not super tired and that is huge. So that's number one. Number two is I actually prep my kids breakfast the night before. So I we do a pretty simple breakfast during the week. I make these muffins for them. Um, I'll link below the recipe I use. I, I love grains in small places. Um, we mill our own flour, and so she has lots of awesome recipes to use freshly milled flour. So I make muffins for my kids, and I just cut them up. I put them in these little containers, so it has a little top, and then so they have their muffin cut up. I have to give them some fruit, a little multivitamin. My one-year-old, I just kind of give him bites of stuff right now, so I don't really prepare much for him ahead of time. But my five and three-year-old, I make these for them. So I do that the night before. It takes like five minutes because I've already made the muffins, which um, has also been huge. Like just, I make a big batch of muffins whenever I need to, put them in the freezer, and then I don't have to worry about it for a while and just makes our morning smoother. And I don't get tired of them. So, and on the weekends, we do different things for breakfast, like pancakes. But during the weekdays, we do this. So I put these in the fridge the night before. And then the next morning, I'm able to just take them out, put them on their placemats, and bam, breakfast is ready for them when we come downstairs. So that is number two. The third thing I do is the night before, I try to get any dirty clothes into the washer. So I can run that load the next morning. And then as soon as I wake up, if there's any other clothes in our laundry hamper, I take it to the laundry room, just put them in the washer. And then I don't start it until the kids bring their dirty clothes to the laundry room because that's part of their morning chores. But once they do, I start a load um, that morning before we come downstairs. So then it's running while we're downstairs doing our morning time. And then after we kind of do our morning time, I usually go back upstairs and put the clothes in the dryer, ideally before we go out anywhere or just um, sometime mid-morning. So that just helps kind of keep laundry going and not overwhelming. I also um, try to fold the laundry just before the evening time because it's really nice to have that done and I put it on, put the folded laundry on the wall by the kids' rooms. And I haven't quite started this yet, but I'm gonna give, I'm trying to give the kids the responsibility to put their clothes away because the five-year-old obviously, obviously definitely can do that. So that is something I'm starting, but that helps me not feel overwhelmed by laundry. So that, so the next thing is my kids have, or my five-year-old I should say, has her morning chores that she's expected to do each morning before she comes out of her room. Now, sometimes she'll come out in the morning and say hi, and um, that's great. I'm all for that. 
But then she comes back, goes back in her room, and then she knows that she needs to make her bed, um, get dressed, take her clothes to the laundry room, pick up any toys that are on her floor. We try to do that the night before, but um, just if we didn't get to that, then she does that in the morning. And then I brush her teeth, floss her teeth, um, wash her face, brush her hair, and I think I'm remembering everything. So she does those things in the morning and she has a little um, reminder on her wall with little pieces, a little paper tab that she can like check each thing that she did. So that is awesome for her. And then my three-year-old, I obviously help with a lot of those things, but she can get dressed and I'm showing her, she's helping me make her bed. And so I'm trying to train her. So eventually she'll be able to do those things. She can take her clothes to the laundry room, things like that. So we do all that before we come downstairs. So we come downstairs at the same time in the morning. So like I said, I'll have their breakfast already set out before you know we're getting ready upstairs. If one of them comes downstairs early and starts eating breakfast, their attention span is like a minute and then they're done with breakfast. They, off, they wanna like go play or something and I kind of lose that time. So we all come down at the same time. So sometimes that's easier than others, but it's something I'm pretty committed to because it makes a big difference. So, you know, if one of them's ready to go, I say, why don't you just play a little bit while I get your sister and your brother ready? And then when we're all ready, then we'll come down. And I get ready before they wake up because otherwise it's, it's chaotic enough. So I do as much as I can to make it as smooth as possible. So we all come down together, they see their breakfast, they come over um, to the table, and I have already out on the table our morning time devotional things. I have my Bible, I have the children's illustrated Bible, we are going through that, I love that, and I have my first hymnal, we sing hymns out of that, I have this devo these devotional books that we read from sometimes. So it's summertime, so I'm not going through a um, Bible study like I will in the fall, I'll go through uh, the Foundations Bible study that Driven by Grace does. So I will show more about that when we start that. But this summer, we're just kind of um, reading a Bible story each morning and talking about it and singing some hymns and praying. But I have these things out on the table, ready to go. So we come downstairs, I sit down, they're eating, I start reading the Bible. So it's because, again, the five-year-old could sit here for a while, but the three-year-old is like, you know, sits here for a couple of minutes and then she's gone. So I want to like, I want to make the most of that time. So those are the things that I do each day or I try, you know, some days don't go like that, but I try my best and I found that it makes my, our mornings go smoother than they would if I didn't. So I hope that helps you. If, um, if this video is helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel. And I am um, posting two videos each week about homeschooling, classical conversations, tutor ideas. I tutor for the little um, kids, the four to six year olds, and I love that. So I will post weekly tutor ideas and just memory work ideas and things that we do at home. I'm also going to post some health-related videos because we are on quite a health journey in our home too. So stay tuned for that. Thanks so much.